Hey guys, Chef Jason, race hardware grilling expert. We are back, and this time we're talking thanks grilling, but with a twist. That's right, we've let the kids pick our dishes this year, so let's hear what the ask was this year. Hey Chef Jason, I want a pizza turkey. That's right, uh, apparently it's pizza turkey. So we are gonna show you the most amazing way to spatchcock a turkey. Then we are going to turn it into that fantastic pizza turkey because what kid wouldn't love a pizza with a little turkey flair or a little turkey with a little pizza flair. Let's dive in, let's get cooking. We're gonna dive into the spatchcock method, and I'll tell you, if you wanna dig in deeper, we've got a full spatchcock video for you, but the basic gist of this, right? We're gonna go ahead and remove the entire backbone. So I'll grab my favorite pair of shears or a super sharp knife, and we'll get right through this backbone all the way from the front to the back. Now, it takes a little bit of crunching, takes a little bit of muscles, but the goal is to get this cut all the way down on both sides, removing that backbone. Then we'll come in and we'll show you how we're gonna get it split and flattened, because that's the beauty of it. We're we're now going to speed up the pizza turkey cooking time by about two and a half hours less. That's right. That is super helpful. Well, we're done. We cut that backbone out. Now we expose the sternum, right? The inside of the breastplate. And what we're going to do with the heel of our knife is just crack that sternum a little bit. Might have to give it a good little whack, but get that in there. Be careful. Now watch this. The beauty of the spatchcock method is taking a turkey that's this big and turning it into a turkey that's that big by simply splitting it down the back. And now look at that. That turkey is going to save us time and effort and get us into pizza turkey a lot faster. Next up, we're gonna show you how we brine it because it's time to soak this bird in a beautiful Italian brine that's really gonna bring out those garlic flavors, those herb flavors, and get us closer to pizza perfection. So the first step in this process is really making sure we impart some fantastic flavor into our turkey. Now, brining is that process and that solution for me. That is that insurance policy that we've got a ton of flavor and a ton of moisture. Now, I didn't put this on the tasting notes, but I'll tell you what, that Italian brine with its herbs, with its garlic, with everything, should say on there, has a hint of pizza notes as well. So we'll go ahead and take that spatchcock bird. We're going to throw that into our brine bucket that we already have lined with a brine bag. And look at this, you guys. We've got the brine all set. We followed the package instructions, got it ready to go. And if you need a little further brine guidance, don't forget to check out a brining video that we have because that will get you in into the nitty, nitty gritty, the down and dirty on brining. But look at that, look at those herbs. So now, here we go. We're gonna pour the brine in. We're gonna let this soak for about 45 minutes per pound. That's gonna get all the flavor we need. And that is going to get us into pizza turkey. I absolutely know what you're thinking. How am I going to fit a five gallon bucket in my refrigerator? Well, I'll tell you what, if you're looking to put this somewhere, keep it cold because that definitely is gonna keep it food safe. I would suggest this. If you have a second refrigerator in the bucket, keep it all wrapped up and ready to go. If you don't have room for the bucket, carefully take the bag out of the bucket, put it into a cooler, make sure it is 100% ice down, tighten it up, wrap it, twist, tie it shut, and then let it soak for that 45 minutes a pound. That is gonna give you juice flavorful, delicious turkey. We're almost ready to take this out of the brine. And one of the first things I want to do is I want to make sure I make my seasoning rub because amplifying that pizza flavor is really important to our kid because they want to get that on the skin. They want to taste pizza. They want to eat turkey and have a pizza experience. So what we're going to do is go ahead and add a little bit of our cluck seasoning. That's going to be kind of that Italian, a little bit more garlic, a little bit tomato, a little bit more herbs. We're going to add a little bit of our rub-a-dub as well. And then we're going to add just enough oil in here, you guys, until we have a paste. I like to make this ahead of time. That way it's ready so that I can literally go from the brine to the rub and onto my tray. Literally smells like pizza in a bowl. I hope you are happy with pizza turkey. So after about 14 hours of brine time, this guy is done. And what I'm gonna do, lay it flat again. Look at that. Look at the way the herbs just hang out on this turkey. That's what we're looking for. And then I'll go through and tuck the wing. Now, we made the rub, kind of that pizza rub, so to speak. We're gonna go ahead. This is gonna be single use. So once we get into this and we've got gloved hands and we're touching turkey and rub, one and done is how we're going to treat this. So we'll mix it up again, make sure it's good and set and ready. And then we'll go through and just give that a rub. 
Gonna add a lot of flavor to the outside. Gonna add a beautiful kind of turkey-esque finish to it. And then we'll save a little bit of this too. And uh, we're gonna flip this guy over, rub the inside of the cavity as well. Oh, that right there, pizza perfection. Now, give this guy a flip here real quick. Don't worry about anything flipping off. We got a little bit extra, we're good. I wanna get a little bit inside here on the rib cage. Be careful too, those ribs when you cut them, uh, there's some sharp fragments in here. Just be careful, get that guy rubbed. We're good to go. Let's go back on the front side. Now, let this sit, we'll get the Traeger all fired up and then we're going in 350 degrees. The beauty of this, so much faster cook time. Total 360 degree wood fired fun on the Traeger. All right, so today's pellets, you know what? We're using my favorite, those Ace Reserve Blend pellets. I really love that oak, apple, and cherry flavor. It's gonna do fantastic on the pizza turkey. So we'll go ahead and get the hopper topped off and then we'll be ready to go. Today's cooking temperature is gonna be 350 degrees. That's gonna make sure we get that spatchcock turkey done nicely and we get a good cook on it. So we'll go ahead and hit enter, hit ignite. We're all set to go. So we've got the turkey all set. We're going from the board into the Traeger. We're gonna load it right in the middle, just like that, guys. We'll go ahead and put the probe in there. We'll show you where it's where you wanna load that probe because that, I'll tell you what, is going to be super helpful. So we'll go ahead and take the probe. We're gonna go into the thickest part of the breast. We'll get that all loaded in there just like that. We'll plug it in and now the beauty of that Wi-Fi, we're gonna track temperature of the turkey. Let's get cooking. All right, let's check in on this Traeger. We're right at 121 degrees. Look at that. That is browning. That is absolutely beautiful. We're gonna cook this to 165. Now that's gonna be the temperature in the breast that we want. So we'll close it, let it finish off. But I'll tell you what, smells kind of pizzerific. So we just hit that 165 degrees, telling us this turkey is done. But now, before we eat it, kids, we have got to let this rest. So we're gonna pull it off the Traeger, we'll get into the cutting board, and I'm gonna take a quick little quality control before we head over to the kids' table. We are done. This came off the Traeger right at that 165 degrees. Now we're going to let it rest for about 10 minutes. The uh, juices have a chance then to kind of redistribute, equalize, make sure this turkey is nice and flavorful. But before we get over to the kids table, I don't think they're going to miss a little piece. So the big guy is going to take a little quality control here right off this side here. Oh, it smells like pizza. Well, and turkey and it smells like turkey, maybe and pizza. Cheers. You know what? I don't think they'll miss another little piece right here. Great idea, man. Pizza turkey for the win. All right, you guys, here we have pizza turkey. What do you think of that? Huh? It looks like it's in there. No, it's turkey that tastes just like pizza for people that don't like turkey but love pizza. Oh, yay. Isn't that solid? Yay. All right, so I'll tell you what we did to this. We seasoned it up, we cooked it on my Traeger, and then we finished it of with course, like- Of course, a Traeger from Ace. Of course, of right? Course. From Ace. Of I course, mean, of Who course. would have thought about that, right? Uh, anyone? Anyone. And then we covered it with Italian seasoning to give it that total wait, pizza flavor. Wait, did you do it to my mom? All right, are you ready? Are you gonna go first? That was your creation. Please take a bite. Oh, this is a magical first bite. Mm. Huge first bite. Yeah. Yeah, I'm listening to tape for mm, mm, mm. What, what do you think? Like? Mm. It's it's quality it first bite. Like. What does it mm. taste like? Pizza. Tastes like pizza? Mm -hmm. All right. It's like rotten it pizza. It smells like chicken. Smells like chicken? My, uh, Looks like turkey? Yes. Tastes like pizza? Tastes, tastes like, like pizza, it. then, then I can't roll it. That's turkey. It's All right. Uh, whoops, sorry. Everybody dig in. Mm. Are you mm. Yummy. Oh. Wow. I think I just eat this again. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. the iron tastes like pizza. Mm -hmm. Hey, listen, it may be chaos behind me, but we are done. It was pizza turkey on the Traeger, and we nailed it. My Traeger and I went hard at work. We got this done, and we are set and ready to go. Now, like we always say, don't forget to subscribe to the Ace Hardware YouTube channel. You don't want to miss out on any of this rambunctious content. And then leave your questions and comments below because... I'm, I'm trying to film the outro to our video. Please leave your questions and comments below. Help me, help me get through this. Bye. <laughs>